Today, Krusty Carl does VLT drives. Segment one in the introduction to the VLT Danfoss drives we have at the school. So this is a one and a half horsepower uh, VLT drive. It's made for the HVAC world. It's primarily uh, uh, can set it for compressors, uh, centrifugal fans, pumps, all kinds of little uh, extra goodies that you could set in there for, uh, let's say, a dry sump, a uh, broken belt, all kinds of cool things like that in there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the uh, LCP. This, this is called a local control panel. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use it with a RS-232 uh, communication cable is what uh, we're going to do with it. And that communication cable is this cat right here. And you can see, not very well, uh, those are called D9 pins. So this is a male by female communication pin, RS-232, which means uh, there's a communication format in it uh, inside the drive. And uh, it can only go 10 feet, I think, was the number that I read uh, between the LCP and the uh, actual drive itself. So the first thing we're going to do is very gingerly, very uh, delicately, pop this off. You don't have to use a screwdriver if you've done it a few times or if you don't have this uh, little drift cap on top of the drive. Uh, you could do it uh, a little easier, but just nice and gingerly pop that thing out of there, he says with a grin. I got it in there pretty good, don't I? And it always feels like that. It always feels like you're breaking something, but it's just this piece up at the top here that is giving me a little hassle. So what we're going to do is... In here, we're going to take the uh, female end of this D9, uh, D9 cable. It's, it's in the shape of a D, and there's nine pins. That's why they call it a D9 cable. And we're going to push that in there nice and easily. And then we're going to push that into the back of the LCP, the local control panel, according to uh, Dan Voss. I don't know who comes up with this. But there you go. There's your connection. Uh, you know, it's a handy little thing if you're in a danger spot, if you're over something that's really hot or really making a lot of racket or you just need to sit down and do some parameter testing, uh, checking. Um, it's a great little uh, addition to your world. And these cables are cheap. Probably when you go into Staples or wherever to buy one of them, they'll look at you and go, huh, what do you want with that thing? Nobody's used those in years.